just chatting about. about special effects and Bond movies and all sorts and of things goodies. this morning. Yes, our next guest is responsible for bringing the magic of Hogwarts to life in Harry Potter as well as being behind some of Jane Bond's most explosive moments. John Richardson has worked on some of the biggest and most memorable films of the last 50 years and has picked up an Oscar along the way, so he's probably quite good at it as well. <laughs> morning to you, John. How are you? I'm great, thank yeah? you. Never get bored of this, would you? I never get bored with it. I've, I've done it for 60 years, so I grew up with it. My father was a special effects man. He started in, ooh, 1921. And um, I, I grew up watching him blow things up and burn things down. So what else would I want to do? Just being I... ingenious, Matt, and just figuring out puzzles all the time, it feels. Well, it, it's... You go to work every day and you never know what is going to come up. And, you know, one day you could be chopping somebody's head off, or the next day you could be blowing up a model plane, um, or doing a boat chase on James Bond, or creating magic for Potter. So it's so varied and different, and that's part of the charm. So we mentioned the, uh, the Bond connection, and we're going to have a look at some of these scenes that lots of people will remember over the years. First one from Moonraker. Let's have a look. John, you had um, an experience. You <laughs> you ended up um, dangling above the Iguazu Falls. Yes, we were, we were filming in Iguazu, and they'd asked me if we could get James Bond's speedboat up to the top of the falls and release it into the current to go over the edge. And I said, well, I think we can get it out there, but I'm not convinced it's going to go over because I think there's too many rocks there. But we'll have a go. So rope together, two of us, from rock to rock, get out into the middle of the Iguazu Falls. We drag the boat out, we release it, all the cameras are turning. The boat gets up to the edge of the falls and stops on a rock right on the edge. Oh, no. Now they say, oh, we can't do any more filming, the boat's in the way, you've got to get rid of it. So we retire back to the hotel and talking in the bar that night, I said, well, I think the only way is to lower me down under a helicopter and I'll try and shift it. If I can't push it, I'll hold the front of the boat, the helicopter can fly up and away, and I'll act as the link. As soon as the boat moves, I'll let go and it can go over. Fine. So we get out there and it drops me in the water, it drops me on the boat eventually. And the helicopter starts pulling, I'm holding on, and arms are getting longer. And suddenly I could hear this ping, 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 ping noise, and I thought, what on earth is that? And then I realised it was the stitching on my harness breaking with the pull. So now I don't know how many stitches have gone. Is it better to stay with the boat or go with the helicopter? And I opted for the helicopter and... Yes! Um, uh, they eventually got me back up and we landed. Um, as luck would have it, it rained upriver that night and we got up the following morning and the boat had gone. So. It's a mad world you inhabit. So, let's have a look at another uh, Bond scene. This is from Octopussy. All oh, right. So, let's have a little look at this one. So, just talk, talk us through what we're seeing here. Well, this was uh, Bond's jet flying through a hangar. And in a moment, you'll see the, the plane go into the hangar. What is actually happening is that's a model plane and a model hangar door with a real hangar behind it. So, it's all shot in camera. Um, and for the beady jet flying through the hangar, we mounted a full-size plane on a pole arm on top of a Jaguar car. We cut the roof off, and I drove the Jag through the hangar at, I think, about 75 miles an hour. Fabulous. And one of my buddies was in the back, and we banked the plane as we got to the far end. The stuntmen closed the doors, and we slid we, through. We have a minute. That's the joy of live TV. Can you whiz through these lovely props you brought us? I can. Um, this is interesting because it's... If I hold that one up... We, we that's talk about it. Humphrey goes, Bogart so. um, from The African Queen, and my father did the special effects on The African Queen, and that was the model of Bogart that they did on the model of the boat going through the rapids. Oh. So that's... Rare the... to have a gun in the studio. We're allowed to have a gun in the studio. That was from Pink Panther, um, and the barrel flew off and all the, the bullets came out. And it was later used by James Bond in one of the Bond films. Um, that um, here we have 
two envelopes from the scene in the first Harry Potter where all the envelopes all the arrive. Come through, yeah. And um, I had 25,000 of those printed. And what's the, the kind? They were but... printed, they weren't special effects. No, it was all, it was all oh. done for real. And that little car, we had, oh, hold uh, on. yeah, um, we had a real car mounted on a pole arm outside the set of the Dursley house. And we had what we call a Waldo, which is a model of the rig that flies the car, with that little model on top. And everything I did with that car, the real one did in real time. It... So we could fly it in and... and well, you've made a lot of people very happy, happy over the years Thank in, in the you. movies you've made. Thank you very much. Good to see you this morning. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. And John has a book, Making Movie Magic, so you get even more secrets told to you. It's out now. That's it from us. Breakfast back tomorrow from 6 o'clock. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.